It's a rock out with your cock out. I think we should go out there and fuck all the people we never fuck. Let's just rock out with our cocks out. The Yankee and the Brit Show. What if I don't want to rock out with my cock out? On RTM Radio. 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 Live from Bells, Texas, it's a rock and roll Friday night with Random Man and Donna on the RTM Radio Network. All right, I'm husband. just feeling diddy <laughs> dandly, timey wimey finey. Timey wimey wibbly wobbly. You've How are you, wife? Doctor, really. How are you? Hey, I am mighty fine. You look pretty friggin' hot. Is it because I'm scoffing strawberries? I'm telling you, you look good. Hi, everybody. What's going they on? Look good. They're really, really red. These strawberries are, but they kind of taste really sour. There she is, the lovely Norwegian. Mm, the lady in the hat. Michelle's a happy birthday smell. Michelle, 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 Friend is my in the chat. bell Look has a birthday Shut on our Shut show up. today. I'm fucking singing over Look here. Who's what? There. Who is it? The bunny of the bunnies. Bunny? Hello, bunny. Where yeah, you been? Bunny's here. Brenda. Nice to see you, bunny. Danny Deitch. Oh, there's Larry. This clock is just gone off, Larry, and I'm about to smash the Look, everything. look, it must be Dan. <laughs> it must be. And Uncle Larry, of course. And Hillbilly Express, Mr. Joe, the coolest of the cool. Bubba. Mr. Mr. Radio Show host himself. <laughs> yeah, there's Bubba. And Nicholas Rich, of course. Hello, Nicholas. Now, see how complicated Americans are. Listen, How's that? Listen to this. Oh, this must be a Bubba story. This is a Bubba story. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> he posted up on... I might as well tell you guys how fantastic we are. Um, hey, wait a minute. Look at what? look at, look at, what? Little, look at little Mr. Friggin' Egghead over here. <laughs> Couldn't even wait. Egghead. <laughs> I, give him, I give him that nice little, uh, little uh, Mr. Radio Show host thing. Look what I get. I'm here too, you twat. <laughs> You prick. Well, it's about time you acknowledged him. Let me read this post while we're... Um, My clock. ...doing some shameless plug-in as Brad I'm sorry, you're it. doing a Bubba thing. Yeah. Bubba said... Mr. Spell. But we're talking about cups of tea. Um, and he says that he's got some sweet tea. And I was like, get out of here with your sweet tea. And he says, oh, come on. I know you Brits do not understand us boiling something to make it hot and then putting ah, ice damn. in it to make it cool down and then putting sugar in it to make it sweet and then adding lemon to make it sour just to drink it. But after all that, we better enjoy it. Can you believe Americans? You know, they, they are so lazy that they can't even pronounce a whole word without shortening it down well, I'm with you. all that trouble to make a cup of tea <laughs> i'm with you bubba dude I, I like the sweet tea that's a southern thing come on i stick thing. with that look at the size of that bitch will uh -huh. you look at that thing that is huge mungus get a picture let me get a picture take a picture of that of strawberry it's a lovely fish. looking berry it is but it's not a, oh my berry <laughs> <laughs> lovely berry love but it's not... Oh, you can't see it that way, can you? I can't, where, is there some if light you just there? hold still, hold up, this is still what it does when I'm trying to take a picture. There you go, right there then. Look at that. It's friggin' huge. It's huge, Tom. Huge. And the strawberry. There. <laughs> <laughs> Don't push it. Now, these strawberries are really, 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 really red. And but really they're friggin' big. hard as a rock, man. And they're, they're really sour. Gorgeous-looking strawberries, but they're t t t t t t terrible. So Michelle has a birthday. I can't she wait to sing a Michelle song. Does. When are we going to do does. that? Later? Yeah, let's do it later. Anytime you wish, my mm. hunky chunky. Mm. Mm. Oh, hell, that's not too bad. A little tough, but good. A little mm. tough. Mm. Oh. <laughs> it's making your eyes curl. Can you hear it crunch? Yes, I can. Who ever heard of crunchy strawberries? The joys, the joys of uh, having... Christine! Hi, Christine. What's Mama going on? My ease in the chat. Not that, Christine. Which one? Though? Christine L. Hollenbach Brown. Ah, there she is. Now, the other, Christine. <coughs> Shit. Don't choke on it, darling. Damn, strawberry's going to kill me. The other Christine's up yonder. 
Do you right there? Oh, yonder. There she is. Math Almighty is in the chat. Oh, and Robert has a birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Robert. Oh, my gosh. That must have gone really quick because it only seemed like not long ago since she said he had, since she had us singing to him last time. That would have been a year. Yeah, but it just seemed like just a couple of months, but I guess. I see. Put your tongue back in your mouth, Christine. She drooling. Look at right there. See what she's doing? Oh, my gosh. Drooling all over my drooling, screen. yeah. The cart is nine feet six inches long now with eleven foot wide garage. The hell'd you do? Have it extended into a limo? Oh, anything <laughs> for that brat summers. Wait a minute. It's nine feet six inches long with an eleven foot wide garage. What does the width have to do with the length? I know some people say size counts, but come on. I know that thing ain't eleven foot wide. It's I think I think Joe was calling me a twat. That's why you shave what first? What? The strawberry? The hell's he talking about? I don't know, Joe. He's. That's why you shave it. I don't know. Probably something I said. I don't you know even remember when, what I you said. You know anybody playing this show back? They'll not have a clue what you're talking about. One minute you're talking about one thing about <laughs> Dave's thingy bob, and then you say, "What? You shave it first? Oh, he must be talking about the strawberry." <laughs> I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Oh, maybe because I was choking. Oof. Must have been a hair stuck in my I throat. I love to hear my darling husband choke. Mm-hmm. He's sliding in sideways. Well, I suppose that's a possibility. Could be. That'd be like Dave. Right in the garage. Look, I got it down. Put your tongue back in your mouth. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, the hair in the throat. All right, got it. Jeez. Boy, what you a mean, day we had. What it means is you're supposed to shave your throat first before you start Not shave your on, throat. Before you start choking on food. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Not your fault, Dave. You shouldn't get niggered up. <laughs> wonder exactly what that means. Oh, I know. Larry in that word. So anyways, we're painting the house. So we're having fun. Yes, yes, we've been decorating. Inside, not outside. I got the job of clearing out the fridge. I swear to God, um, we'll never get it done. And she's done a lot of cleaning up and stuff, and it's very nice to have those extra hands over there helping, because otherwise it'd take another friggin' month to do this job. Oh, but that fridge was disgusting, wasn't it? Ugh. Oh, my God, don't... <sighs> people ever clean their refrigerators out i swear to god man i'm always wiping ours out but that thing there had mold growing in it all kinds of crap but it cleaned up nice thank god they put those nasty plastic surfaces in there as much as i don't like them and the uh and the hey what's wrong with us singing you a birthday song look at that you see what she said she says i'm glad i don't have a birthday no song celia and we were gonna we, sing it we were gonna sing it in norwegian well i won't you don't do it have now. to have a birthday for us to break into music over you and your beautiful hat well, so we will just sing happy birthday to you any day, won't we? We'll just sing it when we're ready to sing it. It was just about to say we'll sing it we now. Have and then, then... Sing it. We have to learn how to sing it in Norwegian, though. Now, there's a challenge. <laughs> Are you, you live on the RTM Radio Network? Are you up for the challenge of learning how to sing happy birthday in Norwegian? I'm going to find it and I'll try it. What the hell? Most we... we can do is screw it up big time. <laughs> Let me tell you, we got given a mission by Nickers and Danny's mum to sing Silent Night in German. And, uh, and, das I, we did. and I had this really, really bad throat over Christmas and uh, and I just kept putting it off and putting it off but and I putting fixed it, it off. And then, uh, shut up you. And then one day I said, Randy, you're gonna have to help me with this. So uh, I sung a verse, and Randy sung a verse of Silent Night in German. And none of us even knew German. <laughs> We've got till January to learn it in Norwegian. Oh my gosh, now there's a Plenty challenge. of time. We'll that have it down pat in no time. You're on. That is a deal. I can't even joke around and make fun of it because I don't even know we where to start. We can't even get your name right, let alone sing a <laughs> bloody song. So this is going to be a challenge. That's right. You notice I haven't said her name yet because I'm afraid to say it anymore because she always laughs at me when I say her name wrong. But I'm trying. Or maybe we can sing happy birthday to the lady in the hat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. All right. I think we're due for some music. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, my God. OMG. It's not going to be that bad, really. <laughs> so, let's have some music, shall we? Yes. And I uh, hope you're enjoying your cold cup of tea. Why is it with cold cup of teas? Make it hot. Make it cold. You know, Tim Tatum, when Becky and Tim came round here they came for a few days and uh, uh they brought along some cold tea in the, in cans and then uh, they left one in the fridge when they left and i was like oh my god and i and, and, and oh, i tried it i'm like what I, is this 
junk. This is not a British cup of tea. <laughs> a cup of tea in a tin. Hey, speaking of tea. What? What do you think about making a pot of tea like you make in your coffee maker? How about it? Mm. I could use a cup. Let me better than coffee. Well, when you go and steal some cigarettes off your mum, go and pinch some tea bags. Because <laughs> we've got no, no tea we don't bags. have any. No. Really? No, no, no. Crap. Well, I'll just go over and steal some then. Now Remember, E for echo now at the look, end, Donna. Now look, Christine said. Sila. Sila? Seal ek. Seal G. Echo. Sil G. I still like Sil G because it's easy. Sil Jekko. Sil Jekko. That's how you say it. Gecko? Sil Jekko. Sil Jekko? Yeah. <laughs> that's not stop. It. Now, Christine says we've got to sing it in Polish in July. The only thing I drink out of a mason jar, son, is a little bit of that old clear stuff. Some white lightning. <laughs> I had a buddy that used to make that. He gave me a quart of that shit, and it took me about two years to drink it. That was some wicked stuff. Gotta tell you. All right. Um, sing to me. <laughs> Christine says, sing to me in Polish in July. <laughs> See what you've started, lady in the hat. Huh? She didn't start it. I did it. Now. <laughs> it's all my fault. <laughs> Sing Silent Night and be quiet about it. Or be quick about it. Is that be quiet or be quick? <laughs> we still get quite nice, didn't we? I think we did. <laughs> well, I mean, it, that people understood it, I guess. We didn't have anybody say, hey, you screwed that up. Well, I don't know German. And, uh, and I kept like putting it off and putting it off. And, uh, oh, gosh. The shit we get ourselves into. I think it was like Christmas Eve and we still haven't done it. So, uh I think uh, hopefully we might be even able to play it for you if we can find it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, my turn. you go our little german bit of uh, christmas <laughs> for you i don't think it was that bad really i mean considering you know my dad came home from the service you know and he knew some german he was always running around the house he had this little phrase something about pantaloons and whatever the hell it was i i don't know if he could remember it i'll have to ask him but i had now no then, clue what he was talking about but i thought it was cool i always thought german was a pretty cool language actually now then joe says he wants his happy birthday in redneck and ease. <laughs> redneck ease. Redneck and ease. Redneck and ease. Well, then do, it, do, him a, do him a happy birthday. Red, red, like the dick on a dog. Come on. <laughs> 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 well, I had a song lined up. Now I ended up closing the thing. Now I lost it. Because we decided to sing Christmas songs. There it is. All right, let's play some music, shall we? <laughs> Quiet Riot! 
bang your brains out. That's what you need to do, you idiot. Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio, Radio Network. Network, 731. Taz, what's going on, man? Hey, I'm sorry to hear about your father. Hey, Taz. You uh, you hang in there. I'll get those tunes for you. I'm working on them right now. We'll throw on another rocker here. I've got a couple tunes for you. And I got one I want to play for you, too. That, uh... Stop a minute. Stop, stop, stop. What, 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 Isn't what? that right, those mason jar lids? I'm sure from something I have in the fridge, they, uh, the the mason jar lids, the side, un- the, the side of the lid unscrews, and then the top's kind of loose, isn't it? The top, un- the ring unscrews. Yeah, the ring unscrews, yes. and it's kind of separate to the... What is this all about? Because we're talking about mason jars in the chat, chat room, basically. Oh. And I had some uh, some jam in the mail from... Uh, from Lee Godfrey and Angela Godfrey that come in our chat. And uh, I was so excited, by the way, you know, I could not believe, you know, I was talking in the chat, I was talking on the show one night about how, uh, oh, I love jam, but I wish they'd remember to put some fruit in it. And then uh, a couple of weeks later, there was some jars of jam that landed on the doorstep from Angela and Lee Godfrey, which was just awesome. So cool that they remembered me and everything. So, uh, so yeah, that's how I knew what mason jar lids were like, basically. Uh, but over here, you know, Randy drinks out of him. You know, he has a little jar that he drinks out. Of I love drinking out of glass, and yeah. a mason jar holds the perfect amount of anything. You can fit a can of soda in it, a can of beer. It's perfect for a drink, man. You can't, you just can't go wrong with it. Yeah, and uh, quite a way back, we used to have this listener called Jody, um, and I was quite good friends with her, and I used to chat to her on webcam pretty much most days. And uh, she used to sit there drinking water out of a jar. And I used to think, that's the strangest thing in the world. Why is she drinking out of a jar? But it's just what they do over here, you know? Well, I'd much rather they're drink out of strange. glass. Yeah, definitely glass. You know, instead of plastic or styrofoam or anything else, that's for sure. I'm not quite sure what the fuss is about drinking out of jars, but whatever floats your boat, yeah, whatever tickles exactly. your fancy. But anyways, let's... Smuk- uh, what's the smucker, Randy? Larry says Smuckers put Schmuckers. jam in pint Would jars. you believe Schmuckers is in Orville, Ohio? I you grew up in Orwell, Ohio. Are you a Ohio. schmucker? You're a schmucker. <laughs> Schmuck you. <laughs> Schmuck you too, baby. It's made in Orville, Ohio, Schmuckers. It's where the uh, pla- the jelly plant is. You've probably seen the com- I don't know if you've seen the commercials. Not they're cute little commercials. A couple little kids um, running around the farm, big box crates of apples and things. It's a cute little job. But yeah, Schmuckers makes some really good jams and jellies. Good stuff. But you know, we used to. I, I used to love going blackberry picking as a kid, and uh, and make some blackberry jam. Where we black turd? Blackberry. I'd go blackberry picking like as you a said kid. Black turd. And uh, it wouldn't the, surprise me. The, I don't know whether they do it over here, but in the UK, they just put uh, like this little frilly piece of material over the top of the jam, over over the top of the jar, and then they stick an elastic band around around the edge of the material to hold the lid down. I don't know whether they do that over here. Um, but you can get some pretty fancy jams with these little fancy bits of material and they'll charge you about ten times the price because you get a fancy bit of material. You know, Bonnie's talking about wash them, store them, and use them the next year. Um, my grandma used to do that. Uh, she would make us jam. You shell. She would make strawberry jam and rhubarb and different things and tomatoes. and She'd can all that stuff. And when she died, a number of years later... Um, I went downstairs in Dad's basement after, because that's where our bedrooms used to be. After we were gone, grown up, and all that, I went back in a, a few years later, and she there was a few jars of canned tomatoes in there, and I opened them up after all those years, and they were still fresh, perfectly like brand friggin' new. I mean, you know, when you uh, can that stuff and the lid's sealed just right and everything, it should last forever, man. I don't care what anybody tells you, that's some good shit, and that's the way to do it too, man. More people. You know, there's a lot. Of, I don't know if you read Mother Earth news or not, but there's always something in there about canning foods and fresh vegetables and stuff. A uh, really good way to do it is to can things. Beans, yeah, beans. Und wir das Sauerkrauten, ja. Watermelon beans, beans pickles. Beans are good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you fart. The more you fart, the better you feel. So let's have beans for every meal. Beans, beans, musical fruit. The more you eat, the, the more, more you, you toot. toot. <laughs> I forget the rest of it. I used to know that actually. Oh my god! Now Michelle wants to know what sauerkraut is. It literally is. The jam was in pint jars. I know Schmuckers used to come in quart jars way back when. I don't know about now, but what Schmuckers again? I can't uh, remember what you schmuckers. said. Schmuckers. What is it again? It's a jelly and a jam. They make they make fruit jellies and fruit jams. Oh yeah, and there's a uh, over here, Michelle. You know, 
You feel the when, link coming on? When, yeah. When, when I say uh, about how I love a jar of jam, right, over here, they, they it's like jelly, and it literally is like the wibbly-wobbly jelly that you'd have with ice cream at a kid's See? birthday party. Schmuckers. Schmuckers. Yeah, and the, uh, and the jam and jelly is very different. And Randy always says it's the same, but it's not, you know, it's... Oh, yeah. it is to me. You ja know, I... Jam is fruit preserve, whereas yours is just. Bleh. It is. So to I me, always basically. insist on getting jam, but like like the last time I bought jam, they forgot to put the strawberries in it. I don't care for most, you know, like the only you know the only but the only thing I like is uh, grape jelly, you know, on my uh, my crumpets on my. Yeah, Randy has. My, uh, Randy has uh, English yeah, muffins. Even you call it a on crumpet. the English muffins. English muffins. Know, what the hell did I say crumpet for? What an idiot. Put some crumpets on you. But anyways, let's go over here and do these things for Eric. It's very important to him. So let's, uh, as it should be. So let's do, uh, let's do these. I got three of them lined up here for you, Eric. So just uh, kick back and uh, let your feelings roll. I hope these are okay for you. Two requests from Eric, and I got one special one I'm going to play for you. Just uh, very sorry about your pop. I dread the day my mom and pop die. I just can't even fathom what it's going to be like. And, of course, I have no clue what you must feel like, but I know it can't be very good, especially if you loved them at all. But anyways, here you go. <clears throat> Eric Clapton, Tears in Heaven. By request from Taz with the Yankee and the Brit in the RTM Radio Network. Def Leppard, women, on the RTM Radio Network. Hey, just wanted to uh, pass it on to you. Eric just gave us a call, and uh, man, poor dude. I just, I just so dread being in his shoes. I can't even. Th if I think about it, I get all, you know. Do I have a soft spot? Yeah. When my mom and pop pass, I will have a soft spot. Probably won't hear from me for. A while. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to react. But uh, Eric saw your messages. He's just sitting back chilling. He's uh, headed in his father's direction, so everything's cool. Um, he's playing it safe. That's the main thing. So, uh, But he did see your messages, and uh, he thanks everybody for uh, passing on the well wishes and so forth. So just be safe there, bro. Just truck them easy, and uh, everything will be just as good as it can be. Yankee and the Britney, RTM Radio Network. Joe wants to hear some uh, five-finger death punch. We'll get on to that. First, I haven't heard any Frampton in a while. Now, I don't know. A lot of you guys are old rockers. You probably appreciate Peter Frampton. So uh, I'm going to play this uh, Do You Feel Like We Do because it's just one of those tunes, man. Awesome tune. Haven't heard it in years. This is one of my favorite party night tunes. Grab a bag, light one up, have a few drinks, chase the girls around the woods. Hell, with a car stereo blasting. That's the way to do it. Holy moly, baby. That is the cat's ass. Yes, Yay. sir. Woo, baby. I love that shit right there. That guitar, he just burns that bitch, Never man. Never mind the guitar. Talking about bending some strings. What, what, what? Who, Sammo what? is in the chat room. Hello, Sammo. Hey. Rocking with his cock out, baby. Look yes, at him go. Yes, sir. Whoop, whoop. Hey, you guys in the chat, you need to... Whew, not damn, only... that felt Shut good. Shut up, you. I felt good, and I want everybody to know what, it. Did you, God, did you fart? <laughs> <laughs> I just jammed oh, some Frampton. Good. That's what I should have burned you, a dude, but I don't have any. You did. But that would have <laughs> been. Man, that's some badass shit. With the ear gear on, that shit just. <laughs> Donna saw me over here. She thought I was bozos. I thought you was a. Uh, air I, guitar big time. I thought you needed some medical help. And the keyboard just freaking kicks some freaking rectal cavity, man. That shit is awesome. Anyway, let me say this. As well as checking out um, Bubba's poetry, you also need to go over and check out Tandem Stopper. Dot com. It gets it in the right hole the first time. You know, no oh, getting it in the wrong that's hole. That's what I'm talking about. Because you know when you get it in the wrong hole, you're in deep shit. <laughs> Donna. Sorry, Bubba. I can't even believe you said that. <laughs> of course you can believe I said that. It always comes down to toilet You'll be sorry! <laughs> I can't believe you said that. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> anyway, isn't it about time we broke into some music ourselves? I got a huh? couple requests we got to take la, care of. La, 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 oh, la, yes, la, it is that time, isn't it? 
Well. La, 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 la. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> All right. Hi. Ready? Oh, for she's a jolly good fellow. She's a jolly. Oh, wrong one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You. Happy birthday, Michelle. Jew. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> you catch on quick, don't you? A little slow. Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you! I bet her poor doggy's ears are like... Happy birthday, <laughs> Michelle! Yes, How old is she? Birthday. She won't she tell us. She is 37 this year. And I'm so glad to see it on Facebook that she's 37 because I keep forgetting how old I am and she's 11 days older than me, so I'll be 37 in just a couple of weeks myself. That's right. you got a birthday coming up. What are we going to do for your birthday? I don't know. Do I get to put it in the right hole the first time? <laughs> you might need a tandem stopper. <laughs> you see stopper. Bubba said that belongs in the adult <laughs> shirt section? <laughs> yes, it does. You might need a tandem stopper, baby. <laughs> Why? Get you it only in get the right me. hole the I first only got time. one. No slip in the bridge. Ain't no tandems going on around here. You forget that shit. I don't share very well with others. Seriously, though, guys, you will end up in deep shit if you don't buy a tandem stopper. Well, that'll, that'll be the first time. First time every time. Oh, my God. Let's, let's just be normal now. You're such a twat. Yeah, like you're normal in this place. Bubba will be like, no promoting my business on your show. <laughs> You're going to have to stop doing that. You're making me look bad. <laughs> you disgusting oaf. Yes, sir. Oh, are you done now? Happy birthday, Michelle. In case you didn't hear me the second time. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi, Deborah. What's going on over hey. there? Nice to see you stopping by. See? Oh, my God. That sounds like a T-shirt of the adult section. <laughs> it could end up there. You never know. Yes, we have a little adult section on our t-shirt page if no one's seen it. We've not actually told everybody. We just put it there and uh, every now and again we're going to just keep adding stuff in there. So you might see a <laughs> deep shit shirt. What? Ah, if you look at it on the site, it looks like a butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy just, I just read a poem from him that was so somber. Here he is. Look at him go. I know. Gotta he's, love like, it. he's more disgusting than we are, isn't he? I'm getting to like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus criminy. Anything we're not getting over here? <laughs> God almighty. Ain't no thing but a chicken wire. I guess. My God. All right. Let's go. <laughs> if Joe's still around, we got your song lined up here, buddy. Five Finger Death Punch with the Yankee and the Brit in the RTM Radio Network. Hey! You are tuned in to the Yankee the Brit Show right here on Friday afternoon on Speaker Radio. It's Spreaker and it's Friday night. Oh, is it Friday night? <laughs> on Speaker, I thought it was Squeaker. There's an R in there. Oh, man, I keep forgetting that right there. Tune in, y'all. It's going to be a rocking Friday night. Whoop, whoop. Speaking of Brad James, he's going to be with us here. When is he going to be on? On the 23rd. The 23rd of what? September? 23rd, 23rd November? of April. He is going to be with us next Saturday night. And by his own admission on the Trucking Roundup show the other night, he was like, oh, fuck, three hours with you, pair. Three <laughs> whole hours. So by his own admission, he is going to be here. 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. On the dot, we'll kick his backside if he's late, and uh, I'm sure he's going to have a great time. He yes, of course it's going to be a great time. Brad's <laughs> always fun to hang out with. And don't forget, tomorrow night we have... We have Brian Randall. Now, you guys remember um, Davey that come on uh, a couple of weeks ago? He was full of uh, talk about Cajun food, and he was full of energy, absolutely full of life, that guy. Absolutely brilliant. We had a great show with Davey. And this guy is his brother, I think. 
um, and this guy is absolutely amazing so you guys are going to want to tune in tomorrow uh, that's all I have to say on that situation husband yes tomorrow's country night so make sure you're here for that going to be good got some new music to play for you got some new tunes I picked up along the way lots of cool stuff so uh, just make sure you're here spread the word please share the page we love it when you do that I don't think you guys do it enough if you want my opinion but uh, that's just me yeah. talking and Sunday night of course is the Lido Lounge are we going to be here Sunday? Uh, I should imagine so. But then we got to spend more time on that job it down depend, there somewhere. Yeah, it depends on... Uh, it really depends, you know. If we're getting close to finishing, then maybe we should just stick it out. But on the flip side... You stick it out. I'm keeping it right where <laughs> it is. <laughs> but on the flip side... Whistle like I Brad. I just did a Brad James whistle. But on the flip <laughs> side, you start losing light, don't you, when you're painting... You know, if, if well, we yeah, because it gets dark in there so much, but it yeah. doesn't get dark till like seven, seven thirty. That yeah. means we wouldn't get home till eight thirty so, or so. Yeah, that's it. We'd, we'd get home really late, so I think we're just going to play it by ear. So and, Sunday's uh, debatable at this point. Yeah, unless, unless sorry to disappoint you, Mister Dave. Unless Joe wants to take over the reins on su this Sunday night and talk you all to death. Joe could. Would Joe want to do that? You think? I don't know. Because he could do it on his speaker channel and he knows our login so he can well he could do it on ours yeah. i don't give a shit how he does it but uh joe you want to do a show sunday night man there's proposition for you preposition h oh that's preparation h oh well you get it anyways so yes let's move along here got a couple of requests to do right now it's Idi money and two tickets to the paradise wow that takes me back to some disco days with that thumping. <laughs> Pretty wild shit, John. Well, I like it. Samo says that Michelle looks like uh, one of Samo's relatives in Ireland. Where well, should it be Gora, don't she now? <laughs> well, uh, well, Randy always says that Michelle has the mouth of a Jewish person. A nose, a yeah. nose, not a friggin' mouth. You said she's got the Jewish lips like... Nose, a nose. <laughs> the girl's got a Jewish nose. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> you say she's got a big honk. I didn't say nothing of the sort. She does not look like uh Why don't you insult the hunchback of Notre Dame or anything? <laughs> oh, oh, Randy Master. Why don't you insult us oh. some more on a bird? <laughs> I'll ring the bell for you. Oh. I didn't say anything about a hump. I said her friggin' nose. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm always putting words in my mouth. You're always big, starting shit too. Now you got me doing this damn song home. for Deborah. <laughs> Trust me, you're gonna want to forget this when you hear this guy. She says, "I'm not thing. Jewish, you cheeky twat." <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have you know, you look pretty damn Jewish to me, <laughs> twat. What do you think of that there, then? Donna was listening to Pink Floyd. Was it today? Yeah, and the little I'm talking kids, about all the Cockney kids. Yeah, the little kids were singing in like Cockney language. <clears throat> Oi, teacher! Oi, teacher! I <laughs> yeah. said that. I'm look at that. I'm starting to talk like it. Yeah, Oi, well, teacher! I'd never really leave listened those to it kids before. alone. Well, I'd never really took much notice, and I noticed all the kids were singing uh, in like a Cockney accent, little, and I just thought it was the coolest. Little Cockney suckers. <laughs> 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 that wouldn't go over too well over there, would it? All right, well, Deborah. Anyways, being as a Donna's opened her friggin' yap again. Yes, sir. Oh, here we go. Bubba, man. you're missing a treat there, here. I can't get my words out tonight. What's up with me? I don't know. Put them back, and we won't have all the issues we're having. <laughs> all right, all right. We yeah. are we recording. Are re Three, two, one. Check, check, check. Check one, two. All right. Time to raise my nutsack up off the floor a little higher. And here we go. Sit down. You make me stand up. Donna waiting by the telephone. Donna waiting for the phone to ring. Wow, Donna. You make my breast perk up. You make me break up. Down, Donna, break down, Donna, break down. You make 
my breast perk up. Meanwhile, waiting by the telephone, Donna, Donna is waiting for the phone to ring. Hello, darling. Yes, I love you, darling. I really do. Yes, I love you. I love you. Oh, Donna. You make me stand up. Spring, you make me sit down. Donna, I sit down. Donna, I fall down. I bump my head. It hurts, Donna. Donna, it hurts my head. Oh, my love, my only one. My Donna, 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 you're my only one, the Donna. Oh, Donna, oh, Donna, oh, Donna, oh, Donna, oh, Donna, oh, Donna. Donna, waiting by the telephone. Waiting for the phone to ring. Well, Donna. Well, Donna. Well, Donna. Donna, I love you. I love you, Donna. Oh, yes, I know you do. I know. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> it's Friday! Thank God for that. Motley Crue. Looks and kill, baby. Come on, shake that thing. Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network, my brother's keeper, the you Revived. You're going to be on the uh, yeah, 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 Hillbilly yeah, Express yeah, show yeah, Wednesday. Make sure you tune in for that. Sounds like some pretty cool shit. Reminds me of Evanescence. What reminded me of Linkin Park, and I was just about to say, you, you guys nearly know? got some dead air because of us sending selfies. You dicking around with a freaking camera. Joe, we just all sent people, you a selfie. All the people you bitch about always being on their phone and shit, and here you are, just one of them. You don't even yes, know it. Sir. You don't even know it. So yes, sir. Anything, I'm not saying <laughs> shit. Do it now! You do it now. Anything else you need to add, my dear? Uh, I don't know. But yeah, we do have... Uh, we've got Dan... What's his name again? Brian Randall coming on tomorrow night. He's coming on around about 8 o'clock central time. And we've listened to some of his music. You should get on YouTube and check him out. He's absolutely brilliant. And uh, we just can't wait to have him on. And then... Uh, You've just li- you've just been listening to a group called Revived. They're going to be on with Joe on Wednesday, and I'm pretty impressed actually hearing them. Tie and, a uh, telephone pole to it if you're going to fall in. What? 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 what Nothing. What? Keep talking. <laughs> 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 Nothing. Keep talking. All right. Uh, and then on Thursday we have the trucking roundup. I don't know what we have planned for the trucking. Well, what the trucking roundup has planned for this week. Yeah, I have no clue what those guys are doing. And then Friday, you get to rock out with your cocks out. You know how to do it, Larry. Rock out with your cock out right here on the Yankee and the Brit show. Go on. Oh, all right. You're doing then, so good. And then Brad James will be joining us on Saturday the 23rd. And you know it's going to be a crazy night when he's involved. Oh, my God. I hope he brings his nipple buzzer yeah. with him. <laughs> Tell him to put it on his balls. Shut up. <laughs> and maybe if it's so disgusting, I wonder, want to hear about Brad's balls. <laughs> I wonder if he sat on it, he'd go juddering across the room like that. <laughs> the vibration would carry him around the room. I don't know, but he had a lot of fun, fun, fun when he was here. <laughs> it was great having him and Cornhole over here, though. I mean, we had a riot. Yeah, it's crazy. It was, great. it was nice to meet him in person and. Uh, just hang out with those guys for And a Randy's mum absolutely just loved him today. Oh, my she? mom. I want a picture with Brad James. <laughs> okay, so we took a picture of her. Yeah, she just loves it. 
Oh, yeah, my dad's just like, oh, whatever. <laughs> Deborah says, hey, Donna, my daughter Rebecca wants to know if you can say her name in your accent. Rebecca. I actually have friends called Rebecca in the UK. And, uh, Is that with an R? Call, normally Rebecca? call them Becky. Is that with no, an R? Rebe Rebecca. There's no R in it. It's Spreaker. <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca. But I've got friends in the UK called Rebecca. You don't have any friends. What are and, you talking all right, about? I'm pretending I've got a friend in the UK called Becca. And I call him Becky. Samo, you are correct, my friend. Plywood between the box springs and the mattress does work great because that's what we have. I have a piece of sheet of a signboard. As yeah, a matter we, of fact. Do. we do. Had to, man. The friggin' mattresses are so goddamn cheap unless you pay like... Can you believe the prices of mattresses? Are you serious? You know there's places where you can finance mattresses? Like Donna said before, if you have to finance it, it costs too much. I yeah. can't believe that shit. That's that ridiculous. That was exactly what we saw when we was going in the shop. Wasn't that you know, stupid? The stickers all over the wall. Not percent interest free finance. And I'm still never going to forget that cunt fucking asking me for my driver's license to buy a mattress. <laughs> like, what the fuck is with that? What the hell? I'm buying a mattress. I'm going to piss and shit and sleep on the fucking thing. I need to prove who I am? You're going to piss and shit on it, are you? Jesus Why Christ. You when I get me? old and shit myself, I'll be shitting on the <laughs> guy. You should have warned me. I wonder what that smell was in the bed. What a stupid fucking <laughs> bitch, man. I need your driver's license. What? To buy a mattress? You friggin' goomba. I would never go back to that fucking place. It was the only one left. I'd sleep on a... In fact, it'd be better to sleep on a down mattress than that stupid... Bitch. I think um, I think Deborah's daughter Rebecca's gonna have a whole new vocabulary by the time she's finished listening to us. Cussing and swearing. <laughs> I hope she's old enough. <laughs> no, no, she's like five. Oh, great. <laughs> Bring her on. What the hell? Let's have some fun. Says she's laughing. <laughs> How old is she, by the way? Sixteen hundred. You paid sixteen hundred fucking dollars for a mattress. Oh my what god. What are you nuts? Are you serious, Larry? Why would anybody do that? And that some bitch better last you the rest of your days and the rest of mine too. And I'm not being funny, but Larry spends half of his time at uh, Dave's house. He doesn't even sleep on the damn thing. <laughs> what the hell good is paid sixteen hundred dollars for something I'm never going to use? That's like a guy that lives in Texas buying a snowmobile. It snows once in you know a year. Ooh, I, you, have a, you have a question in the chat. Michelle's saying she's wondering how you say Rebecca over here. So how do you say Rebecca? Rebecca. Say it again. Rebecca. Oh, keep talking dirty to Rebecca. me. Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca. She's not old enough for me to say it like that yet. <laughs> now, wait a minute. She's 14? She's 13. No, she's 13, almost, almost B14. 14, I think. I think that's what So she which means. one is she? She's 14. Rebecca is 13. I can't do that. We need one, too, and the roof leak fucked ours up. Our box spring's still good. I have my finger over the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> what, so, what, so you'll only let you know listen what? when we're saying like the words this. Rebecca? It's probably this finger. <laughs> <laughs> I know Randy needs one of those little beep things, you know, every time he could. I know, goes, man, beep, but I get pissed beep. off at assholes that want my driver's license to buy a mattress, you know? That's like carding me to buy a can of pears or something. How friggin' stupid is that? God, I hate stupid. You see, surrounded by it you, you see there's not there's nothing wrong with letting a child that age listen to them as so long as you know you're, you're educating them saying you know you don't go speaking to people like that or you know which i'm sure she knows the difference you know uh oh um, make sure you bring her to the show on the 24th because 24th that's, what is that brad's when's brad on the 23rd he's on, on the yeah on the 23rd yeah oh bring her to brad's show we'll have brad sing her happy yes. birthday yes maybe Woo. Woo. maybe yeah, seeing as she wore his t-shirt. He'll do it. He's, Brad James is a gullible cuss. He'll be all right. <laughs> hey, I told you it was a middle finger. <laughs> That's what I was showing Don. It's probably this finger right here. I can't even. Oh, don't believe, blame me when your daughter's corrupt. By the way, <laughs> believe me, if I heard a child talking the way Randy does, I would go to town on that child. You'd have paddled you know, his ass I, a good one. I would. I would. I would paddle your daughter's. You better watch then. what you say there, Mrs. Braun. <laughs> she knows more than you do. It's probably true. She probably hears more at school than she... Uh, yeah, well, know. what she hears and what she knows is two different things. So mom needs to get a grip over there. 
Of course, uh, Rebecca, when mom needs to know something, you know she's going to come to you. <laughs> I just got a new boyfriend. Can you tell me? Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, gee, mom, if you just listened to me the last time I tried to explain it to you. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Any hoo -ha. Let's see. Where are we at over here? We have some tunage to play over here. And, uh, no requests at the moment, so my 14-year-old son is a pain in the ass. That's how I talk about my kids, too. I love my boys, and they don't even talk to me, so you guys are lucky. How to use a raw egg to determine if your mattress is awful. What? <laughs> <laughs> Taz, I don't know what to think of that. I can only imagine what that's What's a super about. easy way to tell that your bed is awful? The raw egg test. Let me prove it. Three hundred and thirty pounds of tempered glass, four unbroken eggs. When it comes to mattresses, you used to only have three choices. Looking for some shoulder pain? Try a hard mattress. Like oh, Papa Bear's. It may feel like a rock and put pressure on your hips, but it's the perfect way to tell your partner, hey, baby, want some arthritis? It just fails <laughs> the raw edges. Pressure point. <laughs> Splat. Then there's the soft mattress. It starts out okay, Mama but Bear. collapses over time, like some cheap sneakers or Anakin Skywalker. And since it comes without back support, you get to try cool new hobbies, like chronic pain. But it also fails the raw egg test. Splat. Now let me explain the eggs. The raw egg test states that the perfect bed will let you put weight on raw eggs without breaking them. Because if a bed can cradle raw eggs while supporting all that weight, it'll also it'll support my nuts while supporting your body from maximum comfort. Well, if the hard bed's bad at cradling and the soft bed's bad at supporting, at least the medium bed is just terrible. It's not firm enough for back support Yikes. or soft enough for your pressure. No wonder points. my back is. So aches. in the end, it's just a sad middle ground, like limbo or a wussy centaur. It's average. <laughs> no one wants average. Now, to get around that, some beds come with $5,000 remotes so you can choose between hard bed problems or soft bed problems. What's wrong with having a hard attempt, problem? They failed the raw egg test twice. I don't need a bed that's hard, soft, or average. I need the best of firm and soft without the drawbacks. Introducing purple. Oh. The only mattress that cradles your pressure points like a soft bed while supporting everywhere else like a firm one. Need proof? <clears throat> what? She's crazy. The broad <laughs> is crazy. She's a funky looking chick too. But I was just Anyways, there's how you test your mattress. Put some eggs on it and drop a 300-pound piece of glass on it. That'll Everybody's got that at home. But just talking about, just thinking about Deborah's daughter, you know, she's listening to some cool tunes on the Yankee and the Brit show, you know. She's not listening to Miley Cyrus. Look at the hot chicken she's, of chat over here. I know, Leanne oh, Wilson's baby. just come in. No, baby, listen, I'm baby. talking. Shut up, I'm it's talking. It's not important. That's important. It's best to listen to some cool rock on the Yankee and the Brit show than to listen to Miley Cyrus. You know, I have uh, I have six-year-old nieces, and they do that twerking right in front of the TV with Miley Cyrus. They don't know what they're doing, of course. Disgusting but, little rats. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they don't know what they're doing, of course, but that is what they're being brought up with. So I would rather, you know, let the Yankee and the Brit drum some rock into your kids' heads. Yeah, that's always better. And sit and listen to me do a rant about driver's license and mattresses. Hey, that's the way I'd raise my kids. <laughs> Believe me, your daughter will drive correct. because she... <laughs> uh, I'm only serious. Don't panic. Oh, but yeah, Leanne Wilson's in the chat. She hey. is. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at a redhead, don't you know? <laughs> She's probably got an attitude like one, too. <laughs> yes, Crazy. she does. Crazy, crazy, as uh, Cheryl might say. All right, I think we need to do some tunage. We screwed around enough over here. <laughs> All right, let's do this, shall we? It's the Strolling Bones, Heartbreaker. I wonder what, uh... Ah, uh, shit. What's his name? Ah, fuck. I forgot. Thank you, Leanne. Yes, Keith Richards is who I was talking about, but the whole thing's all blown out of shape now. What I was going to say was something to the effect of, when Merle Haggard died, Keith Richard probably said something like, didn't see that coming, did you? But anyways, whole nother story. Forget it! Forget it! 
I screwed it all up. So anyways, uh, are you calling in or aren't you calling in? Not that it's important. I'm just curious. <sighs> so anyways, Veronica, Veronica, Veronica Lake. Is that who we're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, remember Bonnet Veronica that we made a t-shirt of her wearing a cool, super oh, sexy Oh yeah, Veronica. And we wrote something about the shit on the back She had the muff it. on her head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Silly place for a muff. <laughs> Anyways, let's go over here for another request from Michelle. I'm trying to make up for it there, Jew girl. I want you to know that I'm yeah, 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 I don't know. With a hang and a hang and a hang and a hang and a hone and a hang and a hang and a hang and a hang hang hang. Shut up, you. Ver- what? Veronica just caught us talking about her with her earbuds on her head. <laughs> so <laughs> get your muff off your head, lady. So Cheryl, she says that she's listening. She just can't get in the chat. So she needs oh, to... Oh, come she, on. No, I think it's, she needs to log in. That's what happens. It asks you to log in. Yankee and Brittany, RTM Radio Network. How you doing tonight? Nice to have you here. I think on the telephone we have... Leanne Wilson. How you doing? I am doing great, thanks. How are you guys doing? We're mighty fine. I see, I see Joe forced you to call in. Oh, <laughs> my boss, he's a, yeah, he's a tough taskmaster, that one. Your yeah. boss? You called him your boss? <laughs> he runs a tight ship, doesn't he? <laughs> anyway, I just thought I wanted, uh, thank you for giving me the chance to call in. Uh, I wanted to let everybody know about Tucker's Canning Hunger. And our second annual and food drive coming up on June 18th at the Central Catholic High School in Toledo, Ohio. It's going to be a really, uh, a really great event. They've got a fatherhood walk for kids, kids and their their dads, trying to get dads more involved in uh, in their kids' lives again. Um, we've got the food drive, of course. Howard family is going to be singing with over 300 kids. Uh, Mom and Pop's charity pit stop's going to be there with their simulator and cooking up some food for everybody. And with any luck, uh, Joe and I will be doing the Hillbilly Express live from down there. So lots of great stuff coming up. Yeah, how cool is that? Did you say somebody was going to be there with a stimulator? It's <laughs> obviously Brad James. No, <laughs> nothing not quite that exciting a simulator, a NASCAR simulator. Oh, sorry about that. Joe did this last year, too, didn't he? Wasn't he involved in the, the canning hunger drive? He, he was, yeah. It was, uh, that one was in September. And so we just sort of moved it up a bit, and um, we're, we're uniting with, it's called Restore. Um, and it's the, uh, the, the Toledo Area Ministries. And all the food goes to stop the shelves for the food pantry in the greater Toledo area. So everything raised there stays there, which is really, really nice. Yeah, that's great. When When is it again? It is on June 18th. And where can they? Uh, where can people uh, find out more about this? Is there a web page or Facebook page? There's a Facebook page called Truck Here, Truckers Canning Hunger. Uh, and I believe the Truckers Canning Hunger is going to be linked with the Hillbilly Express radio page as well. So you can go to either place and get the information you need. Very good. Is there a phone number Anybody? there? Uh, not that I am aware of. <laughs> but we do we do also have a donate button on the uh, Truckers Canning Hunger page. And if you choose to donate that way, it's via PayPal, and it goes straight to the ministry. Very good. Apparently, you so can call there's... Joe if you've got any inquiries. But the problem is not the problem isn't getting on the phone with him; it's getting off the phone. You know? <laughs> that is always the problem with Joe. Absolutely, <laughs> people can call me too if they'd like. <laughs> oh, can they? That's a better option. <laughs> what, number, <laughs> what, what number can they call you on? They can call me at four zero three eight three zero eight seven three six. And, it's a wonder, and if I don't have the answers, I will get them for them. It's a wonder you don't have any information. He really stinks at telling you things. He just <laughs> just sends us information. This is who's going to be on the show next week. I don't know anything about them. I don't know if they're male, female, from another planet. Nothing. He just leaves you hanging like that. <laughs> well, we've established 
that it's someone from another planet, but he, he sounds pretty no, cool. No, that's Joe you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, okay. But his musician's pretty cool. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, that, that's, that's Joe for you. That's the, uh, the Hillbilly Way, I believe. <laughs> hey, yeah. watch it. You're walking on sacred ground there. Oh, yeah, because Randy's <laughs> a bit of a billy as well. Okay. I got a lot of... Oh, oh. <laughs> let, me, let me qualify that. That's the West Virginia Hillbilly Way. Yeah, exactly. My mom's from West Virginia, yeah. so watch what you're saying. I, <laughs> I got lots of that blood in my body, come on. <laughs> I just get my trouble, myself in trouble with that, no matter which way I go here. That's right, but at, least I'll, <laughs> but at least I'll give you the details on it. That's true. That is true. Yes, Joe, Joe's done this to us a couple of times, hasn't he? Uh, only two? Yeah. <laughs> only two. That's more than enough. <laughs> Was well, there anything else you'd like to add? Are we have we covered everything? I believe we've covered everything for now. You'll probably hear from me again. Have you noticed? Joe says, "Hey, call in, call in, call in," and then it disappears. <laughs> Nowhere to be seen in yeah. the chat. And then and then he'll send me a message later saying, "Did you call in or not, boy?" <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you know damn well he's you know damn well he's listening. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, he wouldn't miss it. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope that takes care of everything. Uh, come on back anytime and run that information out there again. I'm sure Joe will post uh, it on the Hillbilly Express, no doubt. Yes, absolutely. All absolutely. right. And you're going to be on the show Wednesday with him? Yes, sir, I am. Awesome. Well, we look forward to hearing from you. Well, thank you so much for, for letting me call in. Okay. Thank you, my dear. We appreciate it. We'll talk to you later. You bet. Have a great weekend. Bye bye. Bye. The bye. Union 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 Show on RTM Radio Network. Bob Seeger by request in the night moves with the Yankee and the Brit. What's going on, sugar shit? Nice to see you here. See, you finally figured out how to get in here. Did That's you get that ex- muff off your head yet? <laughs> That's exactly right, Michelle. Cutting your fingers off, uh, Veronica, is no way to lose weight. I'm tell- well, I don't know. That's another, what, probably. 20 or 30 ounces. need to cut off some of my arms, I tell you what. I'd lose, I'd, I'd lose all of my weight. Where's my chainsaw my sound effect? <laughs> Slice off that. <laughs> of course you can request a song. You're going to have to be really, really quick because we've got five minutes left. Oh, hell. Show. We're almost done. Shit. So request it. Yeah, now. what you want to hear? Type it in there, baby. I'm a waiting. <laughs> Get her done for you. So how's everybody doing, man? Nice to see you guys all hanging out here, man. Hello, Don Schmidt. What's Cheryl's going on, man? at Petrol in Knoxville. At the Petro in Knoxville. The Petro. God, I can't even remember going to Petro. It's been so long. I didn't know they still existed. You're going to have to be really quick, Veronica. Does the Petro really shall we, still shall we exist? Sing, shall we sing to Veronica? I don't think she's going to get a song request in, in time. Why not? Depends on what it is. Because. Five minutes on a three-minute song, be able to do it. Oh, she wants to hear. You, you can, can leave your, your hat on. <laughs> you can leave your, your muffs on. on. Hey, by your own words. I knew that's where you were going with no, that. you did not. <laughs> I did, too. <laughs> oh, righty. Well, let's get to it then, man. Uh, woo, it's going to be close, but we'll jam that puppy in there for you. Just because you're new to the group, man. Nice to have you here, though. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. Joe Cocker. You can leave your head on. Well, I highly doubt we'll ever sing that song the same way again. You can leave your muff on, baby. There you go, Veronica. Thanks for coming by and hanging out. Hope to see you tomorrow night's country night, man. You guys rock. We love every one of you. Thank you very much for coming by and hanging out with us. Don't forget to share the page. And don't forget, Brad James is going to be joining us next Saturday. And tomorrow night we have... Brian Randall. Until then, country night. Tomorrow night, man. We love you guys. We'll see you. Say goodnight, Donna. Night, Donna. Thanks for stopping by. Now get out.